Hey Daisies and welcome back to our corner. So today I wanted to do a video that's a little bit different to what I normally do and um so I'm here making a speed build of an apartment for you guys. Um if you guys didn't know I'm really 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 into Sims right now like I love it so much and um I love to build in the Sims and like play with it a lot and um, yeah, I'm just gonna be renovating an apartment for you guys. This is the 2B Jasmine Suites, I think. And this apartment is fit for a toddler and a child, and then a mom and a dad, or just, like, a mom. I was envisioning, like, a single mom living here, but you can do whatever you want to. It's on the gallery, I think. Um, yeah, I think it's on the gallery, and, um, it's under a room because, uh, apartments can't go in as like they can't go into the gallery as you guys know oh god i don't know what i'm saying i'm really nervous because i've never done a speed build before um this took me like 40 minutes 45 minutes and i really wanted to try to make it cluttered and like cute but like i'm not very good at that yet and i only i have limited past so i don't have a lot of like clutter stuff for uh, the kitchen and like the bedrooms and stuff um, the packs that I do have, though, are, for expansion packs, I have Eco Lifestyle, I have Cats and Dogs, I have City Living, I have Seasons, and Island Living. I think that's it. Um, and then for game packs, I have Parenthood and Dine Out, and for stuff packs, I have Laundry Day. And, yeah, I really, really, really am enjoying like the process of doing this edit and stuff for you guys like this i'm not a good builder in any way shape or form but i do really like to build and i hope that you guys will like it and like give good feedback on it um we were really excited when we finally realized that we could <laughs> screen record because we've been trying to screen record for so long and like hayden and i have like been like oh my gosh we have to film gaming content it's so much fun because like hayden and i like to play games obviously and we were going to try to do um some among us videos when it's still popular but then we couldn't figure out how to like screen record them so it's like stupid and like useless to film anything because we didn't know how to screen record it um Anyway, I really like this kitchen. Uh, I think it's really cute. Um, I like doing this thing where uh, you have like a sort of island piece, but then you have a half wall next to it. It just separates the space a little better for me. That's what I think. And um, yeah, I don't know what to say on this thing because I've never done this before. So if you guys like it, remember leave a like below. Um, I just wanted to go in and add a bunch of clutter items and try to make the space feel really lived in, but I know that takes, it takes quite a long time to do that, so I haven't, I didn't do it as much as I normally would, and this is just a, oh yeah, I'm turning on my teeth. Um, I used BB.move objects for this house, and I used the show live out of show live edit objects because I like using the debug stuff for um eco lifestyle I like using like the new chairs and stuff and the beds and I decided that I wanted to put postcards on this wall because I thought it was really cute I don't even know if I put a computer in this apartment oops I should have put a computer in this apartment if I didn't I'm really sorry and I'll probably add that before I I can re-upload it and then Added. I don't think I added one, but I did add a living room space, and it has a TV in it, obviously, but I forgot to check what, like, how much this apartment was worth. I don't remember how much it is, but it should be pretty cheap, considering, like, it's only an apartment, and the apartment itself is, like, really cheap to rent. Um, I like to put those hanging vines behind my thingies just because I think it adds a little bit more color and I think it's really cute and yeah and I'm currently obsessed with that like plant in the corner there from Dino it's so cute and it fits perfectly everywhere and I love it <sighs> okay so 
why so i added this to the gallery right but i had to delete some of the walls so for where the doors are i had to delete the walls so if you're gonna do that um just add the walls back in and i think i forgot to add a litter box which is annoying um but that's like just an easy fix <laughs> so it'll be fine um i don't really like how tall the wall height is for um apartments like why is it so tall i wish it was just the short wall height because i, th I find it so much easier to do it in like to to um play and to build in apartments i don't put a lot of curtains in this build i realize that but not a lot of my curtains fit for this space because like i don't have i don't have all the things like all the packs so i don't have a lot of curtains for everything and i think the game just needs more curtains curtains in general so <laughs> yeah if you want to add curtains you can that's fine and um i had a hard time matching all the wood swatches in this build like the wood swatch for the couch i couldn't match so like i was trying to use a bunch of different um bookshelves and i ended up using just using a white one but i wish that we had more matching wood swatches oh and right there I I shrunk down the dollhouse a little bit because um, I think the dollhouses in this game are huge. So I used, uh, what is it called? I think it's like, I don't know. I don't remember what key it is. You can probably look it up. But I always size them down. And ever since I realized what that key was, I've been sizing things down like nonstop and sizing things up. And it's like really fun. And yeah, um, I wanted to make this place like, personalized but not personalized so you guys could go in and make it look like look how you wanted it to look so yeah and i wish that these this pack had a no not this pack but i wish that the newer packs that like have the the updated bunk beds i wish it had toddler beds with it because like none of the toddler bed match none of the toddler beds match the bunk beds so it's like what am i supposed to do with these toddler beds where am i supposed to stick the child oh, that sounds really bad oops um <laughs> i really wanted to go with like a purple theme for this like bedroom because i thought it was really cute and i really love that toddler bed from eco lifestyle and i thought these parenthood um nightstands matched really well with it uh, I also did make sure to put a nightlight over the beds because I, it's so annoying when a monster comes out, oops, um, <laughs> when a monster comes out and it's like, oh, you're scared, are you scared of me? Yeah. Um, that was great. Anyway, I made sure to put a toddler potty. I did a lot of things. I have a little bit of custom content, but I don't like to use it when I'm posting the build on the gallery. I normally add it in when I get a little chance afterwards oh and i used that toy box as a nightstand because the I, there wasn't a place to put a nightstand in the bedroom so yeah and apparently your sims can scoot like scoot over near the side of the bed now so that's why i put it up against the wall to try it out and i've never used that nightstand before next to the mom's bed uh, so and i think it's kind of ugly so uh you tell me <laughs> and i don't know if that's functional but it should be functional because if it's not i'm gonna be a little bit sad because i do things like that a lot and not, i don't normally play such things i just realized that i didn't put in any paintings you know what it's okay you're playing with your walls down anyway half the time okay daisies we are wrapping up this speed build now we're just adding some final touches and adding food bowl and we're done with the apartment so if if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss another video. Um, if you like this comment, tell us in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!